Hello, Ellen. Hi. Hi. Hi, Ellen. We're in Rome, and now, uh, can you read for us, please, your beautiful, wonderful book? Uh, yeah, I'll read those two passages for you. But yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, we are ready. Okay. The wild dogs roam the summer fields just outside of town. Their eyes flash bright stars in the woods at night, and they weave like fire through the dry grass towards the edge of the city, looking for something to kill and eat. Love is like those wild dogs. If it hunts you down, it will not let you go. And what you can never know from the beginning is how hard or how long you'll love something, how even when it has gone, the love you felt will still chase you down, looking like dark flame through your blood. The wild dogs are real. They are out there, beyond the safety of the streets and houses, beyond the lights of the city, and one of those wild dogs is mine. Do you want me to go on with that or read the next piece? Vuole che sentire un altro? Yes, yes, yes. Not the same piece, another piece, please. The other piece, okay. Okay. I don't know what happiness means. I think about it a lot because that is the name I have given to the short time I have with you. But I'm not going to see all the moments. But what else can I say about them? The language that I have now is not adequate to the feelings that I have then. I remember one day in particular, I had come back to the cabin early and as I drove down the long driveway, you were walking ahead of me. You were carrying scissors. I never asked why. And at first you didn't hear the sound of the car. You were walking easily down the driveway, flanked by tall meadow grasses, your back straight and your long arms bent at the elbows. You hardly ever had them fully extended in anything you did. And I tried to make you turn towards me with the sheer force of my feeling for you, but it didn't work. I stopped the car and sounded the horn, and then he looked back, turned around, and walked towards me. It is impossible to fully inhabit a moment again. That is part of the inherent sorrow of life. This can never be that. I can never really let you know how much I felt for you that August afternoon. I could just choose one small point to describe and hope that I could describe it well enough to make it real again. So I choose this. You are almost at the car. I roll down the window, and in the space before you lean in and kiss me, the space before I look into your eyes and think for the thousandth time how yours is the right face, the perfect face. In that brief interval before we renew our connection, the scent of the hot summer afternoon tumbles through the car window. What is the smell? Dry, dusty heat and straw-like dust of the field grasses, and overlaying everything the scent of milkweed. It's a scent like Laudoc, but deeper. A descent, footfalls of dust, the rise of memory. It's what a bruise would smell like, or the inside of a phone. <clears throat> it's shyness at the point that I feel an entrance conversation and the words stumble over one another. All I have now is this backwards glance. I've lost your face framed by the color you know, the exact look in your eyes, the things we said, how your skin felt under my fingertips. I've lost all that, but I can still hold on to that one moment when I rolled the window down and the summer spilled into the car and it smelled of us. Thank you, Ellen. <laughs> Ellen, please, can you read for us the final part from the departure? Oh, do you know what page it is? Sorry, I don't know that. What page that? Uh, what part?
happens. What we choose to love will choose to forsake us. The truth is, I want you to come back. I don't think we're finished. I don't believe that all we were meant to have was something as brief as the red twist of the fox moving fast across the empty field. I don't think anymore that my life is about what has happened to me. It's about what I choose to believe. It's not what I can see, but what I think is out there. And in the end, this end, here is what I believe. The heart is a wild and fugitive creature. The heart is a dog who comes home. C'è qualcuno che vuole chiedere qualcosa a Dele? Do you have your dog at home with you? Yes, I do. You want to see my dog? Yes. yes. <laughs> In Italy here, now we have only two books, but maybe yeah. next year we will have all your books. And we maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe, yes. <laughs> Selvaggi si aggirano per i campi estivi, appena fuori città. Hanno occhi che lampeggiano, stelle brillanti nei boschi di notte e strecciano come fiamme sull'erba secca al limite del centro abitato in cerca di qualcosa da uccidere e mangiare. L'amore è come quei cani selvaggi, se ti salta addosso non molla la presa e quello che non puoi mai sapere all'inizio e con quale intensità e quanto a lungo amerai, in quali modi un amore finito ti darà la caccia, un salto dopo l'altro, come fiume misterioso che ti scorre nelle vene. For you, well. Oh, that's so nice, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's more beautiful than Italian. <laughs> Dice che è molto bello sentire il video in italiano. Di questo è su Italy. I love it. Yes. Okay. Yes, I and, like it very much. And uh, do you think uh, to come to Italy next year or sometime? 
Yes, that would be nice to come next year. I came, uh, I was there in May this last year. But, um, but maybe I will come next year. Allora, dice che è stata in Italia lo scorso anno, che però eh, le piacerebbe tornare in Italia l'anno prossimo. Ah. Ah. Eh, no. uh, maybe we will invite you to come to Italy to stay with us for Persone Libro. Oh, that would be nice, I would love that. Okay. Yes, okay. please do. Thank, Thank you, Erin. I hope to see you next year. Bye. Bye, Erin.